we shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome by the power of His blood. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome by the power of His blood. Welcome, dearly beloved. Welcome to my brothers and sisters all around the world. Welcome to another segment of Bible study and worship where we praise God and we teach the Word of God. My name is Dr. PJ and I just want to tell you that I love you with the agape love and I thank you for being here. I thank you for listening. I thank you for taking time out. I thank you for setting aside all what you were supposed to do and to meditate on the Word of God. And I just want to pray and ask the Lord to continue richly bless each and every one of you. Bless you, increase you, anoint you. In the mighty name of Yeshua Mashiach, Yahweh Savior, our Lord, the only Savior we have, the only one. And there's no greater power than the power of the blood. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome by the power of His blood. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome by the power of His blood. And today we're going to be reading. Thank you, Lord. We're going to be studying from the book of Romans chapter 8. And in this book, you will see that God has given us the power to overcome our sinful desires. To overcome our fleshly desires. To overcome this wicked and evil sinful world. He has given us the, the power the spiritual power, not by might, but not by power, but by the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. He has given us His Word. He has given us His Son as an atonement, as a sacrificial lamb. His blood, His resurrected blood that He has assured us as a blessed assurance, meaning insurance. We are insured to enter into eternal life through Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lamb of God, the only begotten Son, Yahweh Savior. And in verse 1 we read, There is therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, Yeshua, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. See, although we live in this flesh, and we have flesh and blood, and we eat, and we get hungry, or we get sick, we do not walk after the flesh. Our mindset, our discernment, our spiritual intellect of our belief, we do not walk in the flesh. Mean you don't act in the flesh, you don't act out in the flesh you don't behave the way you used to behave but after the spirit your spirit should be connected to the holy spirit 
Your spirit should be connected to the word of God and to Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua Amashiach, our Lord. Yahweh Savior. Verse 2. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, Yeshua Mashiach, had made me and free from the law of sin and death. So through the Son of God, Yeshua Mashiach, it has made us free from the law of sin and death. Because we have accepted him, accepted his precious sacrifice, the work that he has done, and the crucifixion and the atonement and the resurrection we are assured that we are made free from the law of sin and death but you have to repent you have to believe and after you believe you enter into covenant you must get delivered you must break off and submit that flesh unto the lord that fleshly desire that wants to control your spirit you see the spirit of willing but the flesh is rebellious amen the flesh say feed me now then you feed the flesh then not even 15 minutes pie cake ice cream the flesh is stubborn and the flesh gonna try to overpower your spirit man your intellect even if you know it is wrong what you're doing that wicked flesh that stubborn flesh that that that, that flesh just want to overpower you and if you allow it you will lose your soul amen verse 3 for the law could not do the law could not save you the law the mosaic law the commandments uh, it was written but it could not save anyone because your flesh would not allow you to keep the law but the spirit of god the holy spirit and the atonement of yeshua mashiach give us an insurance and give us the intellect the strength that we need to overcome the flesh and in verse 3 it read, And that was weak through the flesh. The flesh is weak. The flesh will manifest. Give you urges. Sinful urges. God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. So Jesus, Yeshua, Amasiah of Nazareth. Yeshua. He came in the same likeness as us, born from the water and the blood. I'm the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit of our Father, the only begotten Son dwelling in Him. And since He came in the flesh, He taught us how to overcome this wicked flesh. And He, and for sin, condemn sin in the flesh yeshua jesus christ of nazareth he condemned sin in the flesh he is the only one who has been born from a woman sinless guiltless everything in him was holy he had no sins he had no fleshly desires he was not a fornicator he was not an adulteress he was not a liar he did not cause he condemned sin in the flesh to show us how to overcome this wicked flesh for that the righteousness of the law may be fulfilling us see without yeshua that law which is the commandments and the laws of god could never be fulfilled but by him giving up his life on the cross and his teachings 
that he showed us how to overcome. He delivered us. Our deliverer is Yeshua and Mashiach, the man of Galilee. He is our deliverer. He has delivered us from the sinfulness of our flesh. Your tongue, your eyes, envy, jealousy. He has delivered us from all that. He nailed it on a cross. He taught us how to subdue, how to control our flesh. He, through him, we was able to fulfill the law in us. Because the law is good. It brings us back to the remembrance that we are sinners and that we should not commit adultery. We should not steal, lie, rob, and murder. So the law is good. Because Yeshua did not come to abolish the law. But he came to fulfill it in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit amen the holy spirit of god verse 5 for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit amen so we as followers of yeshua hamashiach yahweh savior our deliverer we do mind the things of the spirit we are spiritual beings although walking in the flesh we are spiritual beings so we care more about the spiritual things that pertaining to abba father to the word and to do what is righteously according to the law verse 6 for to be carnally minded is that but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal man is enmity against God. For it is not subject to the law of God neither indeed can be. So the carnality, our flesh, our carnality, our carnal ways is, and is against God. We are enemies of God sinfulness sinful desire is enmity against god sinful lifestyles are enmity of god because what it is free will it is not subject to the law of god neither indeed can it be so remember those pastors who are carnally minded those people who are in spiritual leaders and your prophetess and prophet who are carnally minded and you see them having children out of wedlock you see them running around committing adultery you see them molesting boys and you still following them and you see like they have a spirit of divination and the diviners and they speak to the dead and you still listen to them verse 8 so then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. A fleshly woman and a fleshly man cannot please God. If you are worldly and mundane and you claim that you please in God, you have a form of godliness, but you are denying the power of of God amen because those that walk those who are in the flesh cannot please God verse 9 but they but ye are not in the flesh you are not in the flesh but in the spirit if so be that the spirit of God dwells in you you have the Holy Spirit of God Therefore, you can please God. 
you can listen to God. The word of God say, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. And the voice of the stranger they will not follow. Those who are walking in the spirit, they have the Holy Spirit. Greater is he that's in me, that's who is in the world. If any man or woman have not the spirit of God, he is none of his. She is none of his. How do you recognize them? You must study the word of God so your spiritual discernment, your spiritual mindset, you must have the man of Christ. The word of God say, by the washing of the word. You got to wash your word. You got to spiritually detox your mind. You got to spiritually detox your soul and your spirit from all the filthiness, all the unrighteousness, all the uncleansiness of this wicked world. And that's all you learn to put your flesh into subjection to the word of God, to the spirit of God, to the true of God, the truth. To God Almighty, to Yeshua Amashiach, you will submit, you will bow, you will obey freely. Knowing that if you don't, you have made a choice to enter the kingdom of God or to enter into hellfire. It's your choice. You have to choose this day who you will serve. Choose between Yeshua and the devil. That's why they're going to boil down to because it's getting ready to tumble. It's going to be rumbling in another 24 months. It's going to be rumbling in America. I see fire everywhere. I was telling my daughter, fire. I see people running with their children. I see people body snatchers. The Lord is preparing you. The Lord is calling you now. The Lord is saying get your house in order. The Lord is saying it's time for you to decide on whose side you want. Father God in the name of Jesus. I pray today Father God. That your words. Your Holy Spirit. Uh, will touch each and every one that are listening to this biblical studies and father god i pray that you will loose them from the chuckles and the yokes and the clutches of the devil the clutches that the enemy has put in your mind in your soul and your spirit are uh, uh, bind and rebuke it and cast it out i uh, cast out every form of unrighteousness evil belief evil tradition generational curse family tradition church theology superfluity in the mighty name of jesus i bind and cast it out i rebuke satan right now offer your body your spirit and your soul the word of god say to by the washing of the word what we're doing today for you doing a spiritual detox of your mind your mind must be the mind of christ Verse 9 again, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of God, of Christ, he is none of his. I say they used to brand the cows, brand them. They used to brand our ancestors. And some of y'all are branded in your heart. The devil has brand you. You have the mark of the beast in, on your forehead. Your heart is snared with a rod of iron. Father God, in the name of Jesus, touch each and every one. Rebuke, Father God, and deliver your people. Deliver those who seek you. Because it's getting ready to rumble and tumble in America. I'm getting ready to tumble everywhere buildings burning down business burning down houses and neighborhood they come into the urban area get out the urban area get out 
Come out from among them and be separate, say the Lord. Come out of this wicked tradition. Come out of the wickedness in this world. Father God, in the name of Yeshua Mashiach, I pray thee, Father God, for your spiritual covering to fall upon the parents, the children, the grandchildren, each and every one of us, Father God, in the precious name of Yeshua Mashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the man of Galilee, our Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father God, for your only begotten Son, Yahweh have a savior in yeshua mashiach precious name i pray amen continue to pray continue to fast and continue to believe if my people will humble themselves and pray i will heal this land that's what the lord says it's time to pray don't wait to the last minute it's time to pray again my name is dr pj from the prophetic word have a wonderful and blessed day. Don't forget to share and subscribe and give a like. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ. I defeat you, Satan.